Well, the kids may be off on March break, but it's shaping up to be a big week for education in Ontario. First news of a cell phone ban in classrooms, then leaked documents reveal that the government is planning on going back to basics when it comes to math, scrapping the contentious discovery math lessons. But questions surrounding classroom sizes and even full-day kindergarten remain unanswered. I got to defer this to the announcements coming out from the Minister of Education, but I think uh, the people of this province will be uh, quite quite thrilled when they they see the announcement. We're focusing on the students. We're making sure that the students get the best education they can. I can tell you, we're going back to the basics. We're going to make sure our students understand math, reading, arithmetic. We're making sure that our grade six students are no longer rank the lowest in the country when it comes to math tests. With all due respect, Premier, you're talking about math, and that's one issue, but I'm yeah. talking about classroom sizes. Will you commit, and will your yeah. government commit, to keeping classroom sizes capped at their current levels, up to 23 students for the primary grades? Well, I'm, I'm not going to steal the Minister of Education's announcement, uh, but uh, I can tell you this. I think you'll be quite happy with uh, the Minister's announcement. Grade 1, 2 and 3 classes are capped at 23 students. Full day kindergarten classes capped at 29. Now that's with one teacher and one early childhood worker. In a widely circulated consultation paper sent from the Minister of Education to several partners in the education sector, the Minister points out that the Ministry has heard in previous education funding engagements that implementing hard caps on class sizes is expensive and difficult for school boards to manage. It has been suggested that board-wide class Class size averages offer more flexibility for classroom organization and allow for more efficient use of board funds. And earlier this year, Thompson wouldn't rule it out. Well, the fact of the matter is, I have been given a mandate and a personal goal of making sure we get an environment whereby we're supporting the best learning environment in our classrooms. And so I want to go out and I want to hear from people. When asked if the government would consider replacing kindergarten teachers with early childhood educators as a way to save money, Ford again was noncommittal. I, I think it's just thinking outside the box and what a great minister, uh, Minister Thompson. Now we asked the Minister of Education staff point blank if they plan on replacing kindergarten teachers with early childhood educators and if they plan on lifting the cap on classroom sizes. Now they responded that they're looking for efficiencies and accountabilities within the system and they can see that they have been looking for input on classroom sizes as is. They say they are still reviewing that feedback although a major announcement is expected later this week. In Queen's Park, Christina Howard, City News.